There are machines so massive that they aren't built. They're assembled like mobile skyscrapers, so heavy they crush the ground beneath them, and so dangerous that a single failure could destroy everything around them. We're not talking about simple excavators or trucks. We're talking about steel colossi capable of digging tunnels under cities, leveling entire mountain ranges, or retrieving tanks from war zones. Machines that operate at the limit, in the most brutal conditions, and that do the kind of work no human could ever do with their bare hands. Today on Zonatech, you're going to discover the seven most extreme and lethal heavy machines ever created by modern engineering. And here's your warning. If you thought you'd seen everything in construction, mining, or military recovery, get ready to change your mind. This is brute force, real danger, and unchained technology. Let's begin. Top 1. Bagger 1473 This isn't a machine. It's an entire ecosystem of steel, gears, and destruction. The Bagger 1473 is one of the largest excavators to ever touch Earth. Picture a structure over 200 meters long, nearly 100 meters tall, and weighing more than 13,000 tons. This beast doesn't dig, it devours. Designed in East Germany during the 1980s, its only mission is this. Move Earth on a scale no human could ever imagine. It's used in open pit mines to extract lignite, a type of soft coal. But to do this, it must plow through terrain like it's butter. Trees, rocks, roads, even buildings vanish in its path. Its core is a 20-meter-wide bucket wheel fitted with dozens of steel scoops that claw into the Earth nonstop. It can move more than 240,000 tons of material per day. That's like excavating an entire stadium every 24 hours. And the wildest part? It doesn't stop. It can literally operate for 20 hours straight without interruption. A system of conveyor belts transports the material directly to trains or kilometer-long lines that feed processing plants. Operating it isn't a job. It's a military operation. It takes a team of more than 20 people, each with specific roles to monitor pressure, stability, orientation, and power. Any mistake can cause a collapse, structural failure, or fatal accident. The Bagger 1473 doesn't build cities. It crushes them. And when it moves, nothing can stop it. Top 2. Mamowit PTC 200DS Not all machines destroy. Some lift. But with such savage force, they seem to defy physics. The Mamoway PTC 200DS is not a conventional crane. It's a modular Titan built to move loads so massive, so heavy, that no other system on Earth could handle them. We're talking about a circular structure that can reach up to 160 meters in height, with a rotating arm capable of lifting more than 3,000 tons in a single motion. That's more than the combined weight of 500 elephants and it does it with surgical precision. This machine was designed by the Dutch company Mamoe, known for moving what no one else dares. Nuclear reactors, offshore platforms, wind turbines, and infrastructure components taller than buildings. The most shocking part isn't just its capacity, it's the mobility. Despite its monstrous size, it can be disassembled, transported, and reassembled anywhere in the world. Each module travels on specialized trucks. Then it's rebuilt like a massive mechanical structure, piece by piece. And here's the detail that makes it elite. Its base rotates. The entire platform spins on a central axis with millimetric precision, allowing it to work in zones where there's no room for lateral maneuvers. This is critical in nuclear, petroleum, or extreme access sites where there's zero margin for error. Operating this machine isn't for just anyone. It requires months of planning, ground anchoring, real-time balance calculations, and constant technical supervision. One mistake, and the entire project can collapse. The Mamoet PTC 200DS is not a crane. It's a titan carrying the weight of the future. And when it turns, the world stops around it. Top 3. Overburden Conveyor Bridge F60 if you thought a construction machine had to be compact or maneuverable, forget it. 
The overburdened conveyor bridge F60 doesn't fit on any road, doesn't turn corners, and doesn't stop for anything. Why? Because it's over 500 meters long. Yes, longer than five football fields lined up. Its technical name is dry and boring, but what it does is anything but. Designed in former East Germany during the 1970s, this colossal structure was built for a single purpose. Remove the surface layer from open pit mines before the excavators access the coal. And it does it on a massive scale. The F-60 works like a mobile bridge, a steel colossus that moves slowly on rails while transporting rocks, dirt, and debris from one end to the other. All the material is loaded by giant excavators and dropped onto internal conveyor belts that run through the entire body of the machine. At peak performance, it could move over 40,000 tons of material per hour. But its true power isn't just strength, it's scale. It's so immense that many call it the longest building on wheels. And it's not an exaggeration. It weighs more than 13,000 tons and relies on a network of synchronized motors to move. If one fails, the entire structure halts. If crosswinds hit, it can become unstable. There's no other machine like it in the world. It's a Cold War relic from a time when size was everything and limits were ignored. Today, some of these F-60s have been decommissioned. Others still operate, moving mountains under the command of engineers who literally control a city on rails. The F-60 doesn't work. It crushes. And when it starts moving, the only thing you can do is get out of the way. Top 4. Leitrino TC-497 No tracks, no limits, and unlike anything you've ever seen. The Leitrino TC-497 was a military experiment so ambitious, so colossal, that when you see it for the first time, it looks like a ground-based spacecraft straight out of a science fiction movie. Developed in the United States during the Cold War, its goal was clear. Transport heavy loads across terrain with no infrastructure, no roads, no railways. The solution? Build a giant train. That didn't need tracks. This monster stretched more than 600 meters when fully connected. Its most jaw-dropping feature? Over 100 articulated wheels, each independently powered to provide total traction over any terrain, from deserts to frozen tundras. Its propulsion was unconventional. The TC-497 used four diesel-electric engines, like those in locomotives, generating power for electric motors on every axle. The result? An autonomous train capable of pulling tons of supplies, weapons, or entire military structures without a single meter of railway. Operating it was a tactical operation. The modules were fully articulated, letting it snake slowly like a metallic serpent half a kilometer long. Multiple coordinated operators were needed to control stability, direction, and power. One failure, and the Colossus was stuck, with no hope of rescue. Only one working prototype was ever built, tested in the Nevada desert. Though the project was canceled due to cost and complexity, the TC-497 remains the vehicle with the most wheels in history. Top 5. Bertha When it starts moving, the whole city trembles. Her name is Bertha, and for years she was the largest tunnel-boring machine in the world. A steel behemoth built to carve a path beneath Seattle in one of the most complex and risky urban engineering projects ever attempted. Bertha was over 100 meters long with a front diameter of 17 meters. Her cutter head alone weighed more than 800 tons, and each of her metallic teeth was the size of a motorcycle. This machine didn't drill gently. It chewed through rock, soil, and concrete like wet clay. Her mission was to dig a nearly three-kilometer tunnel to reroute an urban highway. But what looked like a mechanical task became a technical nightmare. Just a few meters in, Bertha got stuck. Not for lack of power, but because she encountered a buried steel wall from decades past. The result? The project was paralyzed for over a year. Repairing her was a feat in itself. Engineers had to dig a giant vertical shaft to access her core and partially dismantle her underground a process that cost millions and jeopardized the entire project's credibility. But once repaired, she roared back to life. Bertha advanced only a few meters per day, but with each step, she left behind a perfect structure, reinforced with concrete, beams, and integrated drainage systems. 
Meanwhile, a team of technicians monitored pressure, temperature, and vibration in real time. One failure, and the city above could collapse. Today, Bertha is out of service, but her legacy remains under the feet of millions. And her story is a warning. When you build at that scale, there's no room for error. Because when a machine like Bertha stops, everything above her stops too. Top 6. Tigon ARV When a tank is disabled in combat, there are two options. Abandon it or send in another steel beast to recover it under enemy fire. That's when the Tigon ARV comes in, one of the most extreme armored recovery vehicles ever built. It doesn't transport troops or fire missiles. Its mission is more delicate and far more dangerous. Enter the chaos of the battlefield and extract a 70-ton colossus like a trophy. Developed in South Korea, the Tigon Armored Recovery Vehicle is a modified version of the 8x8 Tigon Armored Vehicle, outfitted with a high-capacity hydraulic crane system on its chassis. It can lift and tow main battle tanks, armored transports, and other heavy vehicles that have been damaged or immobilized. And it's armored to the teeth. Its structure is protected against direct fire, mines, and improvised explosives. It features modular composite armor capable of resisting impacts from up to 30 mm rounds, along with NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical, protection systems, thermal cameras, night vision, and remotely operated weapon stations. The wildest part? It can operate solo. With a minimal crew, the Tigon ARV enters hot zones, hooks onto damaged vehicles with its articulated arm, and drags them to safety, all while taking hits and maintaining encrypted communication with allied units. This isn't a conventional war machine. It's built for extreme rescue, to recover equipment worth millions without risking more human lives. And when you see it emerge from the smoke, crane extended, covered in dust and shrapnel, you know something massive is about to be saved from oblivion. Top 7. Big Muskie Imagine a shovel so massive it can lift what would fit in 25 trucks, all in a single scoop. That was Big Muskie, a mechanical colossus that didn't just break records, it crushed them. Built in 1969 by the Central Ohio Coal Company, this monster was for decades the largest dragline excavator in the world. A steel creature over 220 meters long, nearly 30 meters tall, and weighing more than 12,000 tons. But what made it terrifying wasn't the size, it was the bucket. With one scoop, it could lift more than 240 cubic meters of earth equivalent to removing an Olympic swimming pool's worth of dirt in under a minute. It operated in Ohio, in open-pit coal mines where there was no room for weakness or delay. The structure was so massive, it had its own dedicated electrical substation, consuming power like a small city. And when it started moving, the ground shook. But Big Muskie had a problem. It was so gigantic, so expensive, and so environmentally harmful that it became unsustainable. In the 1990s, with the rise of environmental regulations and the decline of coal, the beast was dismantled. Its structure was cut into pieces and sold as scrap. Only its bucket was saved, now displayed as a monument, a silent witness to an era when engineering knew no limits. There you have them, seven steel monsters that don't just defy logic, they crush it. Machines that weren't built to be pretty, efficient, or sustainable. Now tell us, which of these machines did you find the most brutal? And what other colossal creation should we feature in our next video? Leave it in the comments. And if this video impressed you, don't forget to leave a like, share it, and subscribe to Zonatech, where every week we reveal the most extreme machines, the craziest technologies, and the most impossible challenges on the planet. We'll see you in the next video.